Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about Josh Frem versus Andre Prochowski. Josh Frem, 11 to 5, 2 and 3 in his last five fights. Andre Prochowski is on a two fight losing streak, 3 and 2 in his last five fights, 10 and 3 overall. Josh Frem, three years younger than Andre Prochowski, 6'4, four, 4 inches taller with a 3 inch reach at 76, and 6'6. Six, 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 Six foot tall with a 73 inch reach for Andre Prochowski. This is a to me a pretty interesting matchup, really because of their styles. Josh Frem a little bit longer, obviously he's a, quite a bit taller and longer. But again, the interesting part of it, to me about it is, uh, I think Josh Frem is a little bit better, even if he's not crazy explosive on the feet. I think he has a little bit better uh, tools on the feet. And I think he has a better gas tank. And I think the third round in this matchup could really, really uh, uh, tell us a lot of this matchup. So, Josh Frem, like I said, he's 2-3 and three overall in his last five fights. He's only 2-3 and three in the UFC. He's been finished two out of the three losses in, you know, in, in uh, the UFC. He's been finished three times in his five losses in career-wise. Eight finishes. Does have a couple uh, finishes in the first round, in the three in the first round. But he only has one submission win in his UFC career as of this point. You know, and, and Dumas isn't really a great win to me, to be honest. Jamie Pickett, also not a great win. The Anthony Hernandez one was a pretty interesting to see where his levels are at. A lot because I think Fluffy Hernandez, Anthony Hernandez, is really, really good. Did get destroyed by Gregory Rodriguez, but again, that's nothing to hold your head down on. Rodriguez hits like a Mack truck. Very, very well-rounded fight. He has, he has a fight coming up here as well very soon so you know that that's that is what it is it's not a big deal Tashawn Gore loss is, is a pretty bad loss to me I like Tashawn Gore but again you know you look on his record I think he's better than what his record says he is um that that's that's a bit of a rough one you know but Dumas not a great win Pickett not a great win those are wins just to really keep his job and then he gets destroyed by Kapilov I'll give from credit on this one a little bit some uh uh you know, push back a little bit is because he took it a month and four days after the Jamie Pickett decision win. And Kapilov, you kind of have to have that full camp with. So that that's a rough, rough fight to take a short notice, fighting a, a really good striker in Roman Kapilov. Um, so again, I still think his stand-up is a little bit better. He knows how to push the pace. He does do things technically not good at times, like uh, leaving his head in the wrong spots for takedowns when he's going for takedowns, uh, leaving his neck there like he did against Shashan Gore. He's also done that in the past before. He did it against Anthony Hernandez. Um, he uh, doesn't show urgency at times. And that also could be a big issue when he fights Andre Petrosky, simply because of the fact that he, that Petrosky, is very strong. He is very, very uh, uh, good early in the fight. Petrovsky, like I said, he's 10-3 and 3 on a two-fight losing streak. Just got destroyed by uh, Michelle Pereira um, and um, Jacob Malkoon. Actually got TKO'd by hip. Very, very weird on that one. Three losses in his career by TKO. He's been finished one time in, in that um, uh, by finish or whatever. And that was Michelle Pereira. You know, the biggest thing for me in this one is, does Andre Prochowski's cardio hold up? I think he's going to be able to push the pace a lot in this matchup and really get Josh Frey moving backwards. And if he can get him moving backwards, he can find his takedowns. Um, again, I think Frey is a better striker, but he's also very susceptible in, in kind of accepting positions. And I think that's a big, big problem. You, you can't accept positions. You know, I, I really, really believe that. Accepting the position is just, is, is a really, really big problem. Um, because it, even if you inevitably get back up and you do damage on the feet, if you're constantly, constantly allowing the takedown or these weird positions, hard to score positions, you have a possibility of losing the matchup. So... Last thing we'll talk about is uh, the uh, UFC stats on or tail of the tape on UFCStats.com. So 
Tail of the tape, we already talked about that. Strikes landed per minute, 2.93 to 3.50. So stat-wise, Prochowski lands a little bit more. I still think on the feet from the outside, Frem is a little bit of a more technical and better striker. Uh, Petrovsky might wing his punches or he might be able to land more, but they're going to be like less technical. A lot of winging them, a lot of leaping, really to close that distance, especially in this matchup. Striking accuracy is 43 to 49. Strikes absorbed per minute, 2.63 to 3.08. So like I said, he throws big looping ones, but he also gets countered a lot. Uh, Josh Frum doesn't really get hit that much. I mean, you know, defense is 47 to 51, 2.6. So like two and a half uh, per minute. That's that's pretty nuts to be honest. But uh, takedowns for fit for a fight for a whole fight is 0. 0.84 to 4.3. Takedown accuracy is 25 percent to 54. Defense is 31 to 80. Submission is 1.4 to 2.3. And again, even though he lost to Pereira, he beat Merchard in a split decision. Um, I, I I I I'm. I like Andre Prochowski in this matchup. I think he does pretty good early in rounds one and two. I think by that third round, Prochowski is going to be a little bit more labored after controlling probably the first and the second round. Josh Friend's going to come on and it's going to make an argument. Was there close spots in that second or first round? Did Josh Friend do enough to win it? And it might be a little bit of a controversial decision, but I like Petrovsky in this one. I think he does a really, really good job. Um, but as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know who you are picking, and we will talk about it next time. Have a good one. See you at the next one. Subscribe, like, comment. Peace.